What's good, MJ? Oh, let me look at the camera. What's good, MJ? Jeez, y'all already know I'm back for the vlog. <laughs> I'm vlogging today, and um, it's currently nine something in the morning. I'm finna catch me a flight to Dallas because I got a cousin out there. And she been asking me to come see her for the longest, and I just been lying saying I'ma come, I'ma come. And I found the book, the ticket. Now I'm finna go out there. Of course, I'm going by myself. But you know what? I'ma vlog everything I do. I don't know what the hell I'ma do, but I'ma vlog it. That's all that matters. Hush. You ain't pay for that ticket. But um, I still got a morning voice on. I'm currently getting under the influence because I gotta get on this plane. Ha. Huh. I don't care what you say. I got me a rental. I need to go check the confirmation thing. I got an Airbnb. Cause I like my own space, like I tell y'all. And that's about it. Um, meet me at the plane. Okay. So yeah, I'm so sorry. I didn't, um, I stopped the vlog of me in my living room in Beach. Now I'm in the back seat of my cousin car. I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be in the vlog, everything. But let me tell y'all what happened though. I missed my flight that morning. And um, I had to wait till the next flight, which was like 11 something, when it was really supposed to be now something. So we decided to come to the fair. Now, as you can see from the background, this bitch is packed. Oh, I thought it was gonna let us out. But I'm sorry though, but y'all can see from the background, this motherfucking pass is packed in the goddamn can of sardines on a Wednesday morning. And uh, we, we just couldn't do that. Now we gotta find plan B. Are we on plan B? I think so. Okay. So. Are we on plan B? We on plan B. We on plan B. I just had to make sure. But yeah, this this motherfucking path too got them. The the the, 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 the path too got them packed for me. I don't know. Man, I'm let me cut up my brightness. All right, I'm gonna I'm put it on the back camera for the, for a few seconds because I ain't gonna have it on too long because I don't know how hot this is out here in Georgia. I mean, not Georgia. Bitch, you was in Dallas. You shut the hell up. Okay, I'm in Dallas, but um, I ain't gonna have this light on for too long because, you know, I don't know how to, the cops act when you got a light on in the car. <laughs> Y'all know growing up, my mama used to tell me that you can get a ticket for having your light on in the car. And I don't know how many of y'all heard that before, but I heard that. But um, we gonna plan too. Where we going? The bellum. The bellum. The bellum. Whatever the bellum is, we going now. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm under the influence already, and I was supposed to be in vlog this. Bless my heart. Bless y'all heart. I'm so sorry, but we finna try the bellum, and I'm a vlog. I'm a, I'm gonna vlog some stuff up in there. <laughs> My cousin just got me back here feel like I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> she got this bitch floating like a goddamn Chevy 3C. Chevy on goddamn 26s. But all right now, yeah, I'm gonna be back. Let y'all know the update. I'm sorry. Just, just pray for me. Right now, obviously, I gotta do a voiceover right here because of copywritten music, of course. And I just feel like they should fix that. Like they should have fixed this damn drink because I ain't tasting not a lick of alcohol. I'm talking about not a liquor. That's why I was sitting up there taking sips and looking at the cup like, you got me fucked up like this? Now, who the fuck made it? Because I don't like it. This this is juice. This is mini made. I don't taste no adequate holy. None. None whatsoever. You don't taste the alcohol. You don't taste the alcohol. Um, yeah, that's the face I make when I got an attitude because I like to drink and I don't like y'all cheating me. I paid for alcohol, not for juice. I would've went to the gas station and brought one if I had a did and nah, fuck that. But this is my food though. This was called some steak fritters or whatever you call them. And I asked for them, look at my cousins and her friend. This is my cousin and her friend over there to the left. But I had the steak fritters and I had fries and I asked for them well done, well done. So can somebody explain to me why in, the, why in the hell is a piece of raw meat on my steak? And I know some people like their steaks like that, but me, I don't. I like it well done. You see my skin color is well done, and I like it to match. That's, that's, that's too tacky for me. I don't give a damn what you say. It's more juice. No, that's more blood. I don't care what you say. I need my, I need the, the juices to be clear, not red, not pink. But anyway, I'm going to eat it, though. 
But that was good though. I can't even lie. They, the, the 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 season and the flavor, it was it was good. The only thing I didn't like about it, they waited to bring my shit out and it wasn't hot. You lazy bitches. I don't like that. That it took forever. It took for them to, it took them forever to bring my food and I don't like that. But them fries was busting though. Yeah, I don't usually eat the fries everywhere I go. Cause everybody fries don't be taste seasoned enough. But they was good in season now. They was real good in season. I was tearing the bitches up. You would think I was the creator of fries and potatoes. But the place I was at, I was at um a place called Rooftop in the Bellum. Okay, I don't know how to spell the Bellum, but I know how to spell rooftop. And this is what I had left. Every piece of that meat was raw to me. I don't care what you say. Not that wasn't goddamn under medium well underdone. It was not done. I looked at it as underdone. I don't care what you say. And I just tried to take a little more sip of my juice, and obviously went none up in. I was pissed. You know when that it wasn't enough alcohol because I drank it too fast. I had drunk the damn juice before I ate my food. I don't like that. But I got me a second plate, of course, meatballs and motherfucking mashed potatoes. You can't go wrong with that. And when I tell y'all, it took them forever to bring that shit out. But it was good. It was good. And I ain't going to complain too much because I still ate all of it. But sit up here and watch me eat it. Now, while I eat this cold-ass meal, let me tell y'all about how I missed my flight. That morning when I vlogged, I got to the airport late as hell. And I was looking at my takeoff time. I wasn't looking at the boarding time. You know you got to be at the flight. This is um, my waiter who came and helped us because our original waiter was not helping us. Thank you, Miss Lady, whatever your name is. I appreciate you for bringing me my extra plate. And what you needed to bring me. And I did tip her for the ones that need to know. Waiter, but um, I missed my flight that morning. Because I was looking at the boarding time. I mean, I was looking at the takeoff time and not the boarding time. You know, the boarding time is way earlier than the takeoff time. So I got there. It was too damn late. And they was like, well, yeah, you missed your flight. So you're going to have to rebook your ticket. And I didn't have to pay for it. I thank the flight attendant, whoever that, whatever the name is, the person at the customer service is. I thank you for not making me pay because Lord knows I was going to cancel the whole trip just because I really wasn't in the mood to go for, for real, for real. But I was in the mood to go. You know how you want to go somewhere, but then again, you don't want to go nowhere. Yeah, that was my mood, but I still ended up going and I don't regret it. But this meatball and these mashed potatoes, it was good. It was very much good. And I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Because the flavor is a 10, but the reason I gave it an 8 out of 10 is because the bitches took forever to bring it out. I'm talking about, you would think it was some frozen meatball and crinkle cut fries by how cold it was when they brought it to me. But, you know, I was drunk, so that don't be mattering. You would eat a goddamn warm salad when you're drunk. It don't even matter. But, yeah, this is the rooftop in the Bellum. And if I, if I recommend you to go there, I'm going to recommend for you to get on your waiter and tell them don't play with you and don't play with your money because I don't know why they did us like that. I don't know what they felt like because we was too black and too successful or what. You know, they smell success and they get scared of it. And that's what it felt but like. That's okay, though. That's okay. I'd be mad, too, if I was you. But um, the food was good. Again, the food was good. And I don't know what else to say. Bitch, I'm over here eating. Let me eat in peace. Y'all probably wonder, how the hell you eat all that? You're so skinny. Well, listen, this is what I be asking myself. I done gained 10, 15 pounds within three weeks because I just been eating. Okay, I cleaned that plate without the sauce. I left that sauce because I don't look at nobody's plates. I better like to eat off public plates because you never know if they fully wash them. But I tore it up, though. I tore it up. One thing about it, I'm going to tear it up. And I grabbed a piece of my cousin chicken. Don't blame me because I was still hungry for some reason. I don't know. When you're drunk and you're high, you just be hungry and you just don't care about nothing. You just can eat a goddamn whole cow from the farm without it being cooked. I'm lying. I will fucking pass out if I tried to do that. But check out my view. Yep, we on the rooftop. We see everything. I seen the angels up there flying. It was a cool little vibe, though. It wasn't It wasn't too much. Everybody was in that bitch chilling. Like, everybody minding their business, listening to music, drinking, hookah, smoking. You know, doing what they got to do. Let me tell y'all something. I'm cold as fuck. Don't mind the folk in the background, but <laughs> you look sure damn cold. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm around this bitch cold. I'm around. My boy had to get out the camera. He said, "I ain't got the time for it." I understand. I understand. But I'm cold and I'm drunk, bitch. But you know what? That's a good thing that I'm cold because if I was hot. And if I was this damn drunk while I was hot, I'd probably be throwing up out here. But I ain't doing that because it's cold and it's holding my, you know, 
it's, it's doing me justice. So I'm not that mad though. He started speaking Arabic around this motherfucker. I don't know what he started speaking. I got scared for a second. <laughs> but uh, we out here. Yeah. <laughs> You guys give turn around? You gonna turn around? turn around, huh? No? Yeah, we just had to walk down here and see what was going on. That's all. Ain't shit going on. But, on the other hand, bitch, I'm drunk. I don't care what nobody say. I will slap the goddamn street sign off a goddamn avenue. Do you understand me? But it's okay, though. Because when people be seeing me, I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow about that though. I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna tell y'all tomorrow because I can't tell y'all right now. Too much wind blowing in my camera and my microphone and stuff. And I need y'all to understand clearly, clearly, clearly what what I'm trying to say. Yo, why is my man's directing traffic right now? <laughs> this man is. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all about this food. Well, actually, I'm gonna do a voiceover, so I don't even know why I'm talking about this food, but I'm. Um, I'm under the influence. <laughs> I'm leaving these places. And I just met my uncle. He told me some real stuff. He said, don't go to jail because they're going to put a, a cover over your head. And they're going to beat you. Just beat you, beat you, beat you. And you ain't got no idea who did it because they put a cover over your head. And you ain't got nobody to tell on. So, from now on, I cuss you the fuck out. You're gonna have to accept that because I'm gonna block you after that. Because, bitch, I'm not gonna accept no charges that you press. Um, yeah, have a good night. That's, 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 yeah, I'm having a good night, though. <laughs> yeah, and that's that. That's <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm back at the Airbnb. Um, I gotta get out of the tour real quick because I ain't show y'all yet. Okay. This is the room. Don't mind me if I stumble because I'm out of influence. I did not try. So, this is the room. The closet over here. This is my, 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 my package and my bags. I'm drunk now. So, bear with me. I'm still trying to vlog while I'm drunk. This is the kitchen. Let me go to the front door. I'm at the front door and this is the kitchen. Crack, it didn't crack, y'all. It didn't crack. Y'all just, you know. It didn't crack. It didn't crack. Okay. This the kitchen. Don't ask me why it's so close to the bedroom. Bitch, talk to the goddamn foundation who built up the landlord. I don't know. Talk to them. But this is the bathroom here. Yep. Mm hmm I don't need to turn the fan on. <laughs> Excuse me. Fuck y'all. I ain't gonna say that. But this is the bathroom. This is a nice shower, though. I tell y'all that much. Look at this. I ain't never seen a shower like this, ever. It got, like, the buttons. This not really buttons, but it got, like... Hold on. Oh, that's nice! Okay. I can't wait to get in the shower. Who coming over? So, you know... Just then, I'm gonna use showers of rays of the pressurization. You get me? What's this? Hold on. I'm not here. I don't fuck with that one. I don't like that when it's splashed too much water on my ankles. My ankles is wet as hell around this bitch, and I, I ain't. I wasn't even in the shower. But it's a nice bathroom, though. I tell you that much. Hold on. If I could have this bathroom shower, I, I would take it and put it in my suitcase. Take it with me. Oh, hold on. I got to show you how to mirror. Hold on. Cut the... There you go. Boom. Y'all see that? Boom. Ooh. Hold on. Boom. There you go. Boom. Y'all see it? That's nice, though. That's like technology of the force of the United States. Y'all done never seen that like that. That's nice, though. Oh, we got my cousin and 
Covering up in here, you know, <laughs> back, so back, yeah. background scenes or whatnot. You know, we getting behind the scenes over here right. for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is the little Airbnb, little Airbnb, like I said. She low as fuck. The porch bigger. What? The porch bigger. Than the whole Airbnb? The, the porch is bigger. Than the whole Airbnb? Yeah, you can go to it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we just up here drinking and whatnot. And you know what, y'all? The 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 the, the mirrorization of this window, I like it. That's not a word. That's not a word. The mirrorization of the window. It's hold on. It's like a mirror. I ain't never. Bitch. I like this little Airbnb. Little Airbnb. Little Airbnb. It's, you gotta do too much to let down the blinds, but you know, it, it's, it's what, it is what it is around this bitch, okay? It, we're not gonna stress about it, we're not gonna trip about it. But um, another thing I do, what I do like about, before I say do not, this fridge down. It's real nice, it got the temp zone. Oh, bitch, I did not know it was sunscreen. <laughs> I did not know that, but I don't know. You got this temp set, you can set this motherfucker. You got the functions. Oh, hold on. Oh, you can lock this bitch. Oh, I thought you could. Hold on. No, let's try it again. Let's try it. That bitch is not locked. False advertisement, bitch. I'm going to sue y'all. What kind of refrigerator this is? This is a higher. A higher. <laughs> it did not lock. Let me cut it off. There you go. But I like that though, because it's like touchscreen. But I do not like that. They didn't add. They didn't add no type of food in here. What I'm going to do? With some sparkling water and some more sparkling water. With some regular water. Bitch, could you put some Brussels sprouts in this bitch or something? Like some mashed potatoes uncooked and not cooking myself? Like, damn. The deep freezer. Water freezer. Nothing. Oh, oh, the disrespectfulness is what I do not like. Look at this ice thing. Bitch, why would you give me some ice? Why would you give me an ice tray with pieces of ice that the Antarctica could never have? Bitch, you don't do that. Look at this. Where's my ice? Where is it? I mean, I just feel like I know it's an Airbnb and it's ran by a certain person sometimes and not a company. But bitch, you need to act like you got some professionalism and act like a company because this is unacceptable. This is really unacceptable. But I'm, I'm gonna take it today because I ain't gonna need it. I just might though, that's why I'm pissed. The deep freezer, nothing. Nothing at all, nothing, nothing. But it's okay though. I got sparkling water and water. That's all that matters. With a touch screen and fridge down. You broke bitches good enough. Oh, hold on. I got my magazine set up. Y'all ain't never came to the Airbnb with magazine set up. Yeah. I don't think so. Now, y'all know what? This thing here is unique to me. And I don't care what y'all say because y'all see when I record this background is just like. It just gives you rich vibes, even though when you go outside, you'll see a crackhead outside the gate. You can't tell that from the inside. But this is nice. This here, this part right here, this is the sink. Oh, hold on. I just cut it on earlier, though, yeah. Hold on. Okay, it's right here. There you go. You put it on down there. You do this. And then this here is made for. Let 
Well, yeah, I don't know what this for, for real, hold on. What, I guess it stopped the water from coming out instead of cutting this off. Oh, well maybe it's made for... <gasps> this is nice! It is. All right. I ain't never had a faucet that came out with a flashlight. It's nice. But, how do I see? Oh, then the light don't come on when you got both of them. So when you got this front. Oh, freezer there. I mean, microwave. But, uh. Oh, and it changed colors. This is. Hold on. Let me see if it change colors within the temperature. Okay, you do green means hot. Okay. What do blue and red mean then? Okay, I guess blue means cold. Okay. We'll put it in the mirror. Is that green? Okay, green and blue. I guess the name's in the mirror. It's changing. Oh, so I guess that means when the flash like that. Okay, y'all, uh, basically green means hot and red means cold. I don't think that's right. Blue means cold. Green means hot and blue means cold. That's but then what I red mean. should be hot. Green should be in the middle. I'm putting it on all the way hot now. That all the way hot. Okay, red means hot. Red means hot. This is nice. Nope. But that was that was my night. That was that was my first night in Dallas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna finish the story time of what happened before I got on the flight because I probably. Well, I know I didn't do it right because the shit was zoomed in on my, on my damn face the whole time. Okay. So I'm going to reset. I'm going to be a little more sober then. But until then, see y'all tomorrow. If I have on the same outfit, don't say nothing because it's cold out here. Deuces.